everyone, Michelle here and welcome to Psych for Psych. Today we're going to talk about the functions of the brainstem, the limbic system, and the cerebral cortex. The base of the brain consists of four main parts, the medulla, the pons, the reticular formation, and the thalamus. The medulla and pons make up the brainstem. It's important to know that the primary function of the brainstem is basic survival functions. The medulla controls your heartbeat and breathing. An easy way to remember it is to link the words medulla and metal. A metal is on a necklace around your neck, and the metal hangs above your lungs and your heart. Hence, the medulla has to deal with breathing and your heartbeat. The pons help coordinate movement such as walking, running, crawling, and climbing. Next on the ladder towards the brain is the reticular formation. This area of the brain is associated with arousal and alertness. Next comes the limbic system, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then is the thalamus. The thalamus is the bridge between the higher brain regions and the body. It directs the messages of the body to designated spots in the brain. Imagine it's like a mail carrier who delivers mail to each house respectively. That's exactly what the thalamus does. Now let's take a look at the limbic system. The main function of the limbic system is to control emotion and drives. Imagine this is a donut shaped structure that sits just above the reticular formation but below the thalamus. It consists of the hippocampus, amygdala, and hypothalamus. The hippocampus has to deal with memory. I like to remember it by the end of the world, campus. When you're a senior in high school like me, you know the campus of your school well and you can remember spending time there over the past four years. Hippocampus, memory. Next is the amygdala, which is fear and anger. I'm so afraid of how angry I get when I don't remember what the amygdala is. The hypothalamus controls maintenance within the body, such as eating. It directs the pituitary gland, which controls the endocrine system in the body, and it's associated with reward and emotion. The top of the brain is the cerebral cortex which deals with processing thoughts, information from the body, and stimulus from the senses. It has two hemispheres, the left and right hemispheres. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body and is associated with math, puzzles, critical thinking, and logic. The right hemisphere, which controls the left side of the body, is associated with creativity, intuition, and open-mindedness. At the back of each hemisphere, there's a structure known as the cerebellum. This has the nickname, the little brain, because it actually looks like a little brain. The cerebellum controls movement and balance. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and stay posted for the next biological psychology video. Bye!